Hi, <clears throat> it's Ed Butowski. So I need some help. Um, but let me give you a little backstory. There's this story out there, if you haven't noticed, that I received a call or a reach out of some kind from the President of the United States, who I've never met. And he asked me to create a fake story to divert attention away from his Russian collusion. He called me, although I've never spoken to this guy. This is all just made up crap by some plaintiff attorney named Doug Wigdor. We'll get to him in a second. And the story goes, and then I reached out to Seth Rich's parents and targeted them to help me um, orchestrate some, some, some scheme to help the president. And I'm using these, these parents whose child was murdered. This is the story. And then I got some out of work DC homicide cop and I decided to target him. And then I went and got Fox news to go along with all of this. As you know, this is all just a bunch of crap. And by the time you're seeing this, you're probably reading some reports on just what a lie it is. And I can go on and on, but that's not the purpose of this. There's a guy named Stuart Blagren, and I'm not really sure how to deal with this. So I am asking for some help, if you know what I mean. This guy was once a friend. We used to have dinners together. He's dating a, a lady, uh, although it might not be dating her anymore, who's a friend of ours. And he's a big, big liberal and I have friends who are liberals, and I'm sure all of you guys do, all right? I know someone will write back saying, I don't, but, you know, that's fine. People can believe what they want as long as they have some reason. But he did something that will never be forgotten by my family. He wrote a letter to the lawyers of Rod Wheeler, the man who's lying his ass off and... You can just look and you'll see. Every single thing this guy has said is a lie. And everything Doug Wigdor, the lawyer, has said is a lie because he's trying to extort money from Fox News. And I can explain that if anybody wants to know. But let me get to the point. This is what Stuart Blogren did. He wrote a letter here. You can see it. To Doug Wigdor, another attorney there, Gene Christensen, a writer from NPR, and another lawyer at Wigdor. He said, my heart goes out to the family of Seth Rich. This is him writing to the lawyers. To me, only a low-life scum seeks out a grieving family via Facebook and shamefully exploits their worst nightmare by orchestrating the defamation of their murdered son's reputation for nefarious political purposes. Now, first of all, when I say none of this is true, you know, you see people say it all the time. I mean, you'll see this, and I'm not going to stop until... Um, everything's restored. Um, but he's reaching out to double down directly to the attorneys. And he's putting, not by the way, my family, is, you would have no idea the death threats we've gotten. And for those of you who know my wife, Danny, you know, my death, death threats, my children, you wouldn't believe what this story has done and how many of these people are coming after us. But this man, is directly going after me. And then he says, media reports show Butowski praised the plaintiff as a great guy less than three months before. Yeah, as soon as he screwed up, I said, he's a great guy. I was trying to help the guy. I even have a text, you know, I can show you all this stuff saying, what a good man, you know, get off your butt and get back out there. You know, you messed up, but just go back out and restore yourself. Now he claims the plaintiff is a deadbeat provocateur. He is completely. He's just doing this because he's broke and he's trying to make money. But that's not the point. Trial lawyers know when a witnesses are lying by observing their body language. Watch Chris Cuomo's skillful takedown of this pompous ass. Call me a pompous ass to the people who are trying to sue me. And then he's entering, and then he says, and Butowski from entering the building. Right? The building has 50 different people in it, like companies in it, excuse me. Um, so I'm, so I'm not banned from the building. This, this whole thing is such ridiculous stuff. And then what he did is he added something. When I was in the hospital, I got my hip replaced. <clears throat> I wrote something on this uh, next door. And my wife and I actually were talking one day about how nice it would be if someone would come by around four and cook and um, clean our house. And then because we spent so much money on neck and shoulder massages, 
we thought instead of going out there, that would be really nice, be a great way to have things. Might not have read it, pro wrote it properly. I was on high meds and I was in the hospital getting my hip replaced, but we took it down after a day. But this guy took this as an opportunity to publicize that to these people. So I'm not really sure what to do. I mean, I could go like on Facebook and let everybody know his phone number, 214-259-1881, or his email. I mean, that, that, that would be kind of weird. Stuart.blaugrund at dentons.com. And show his picture and then tell everybody, hey, look at all of his activities, look at his relationships, and maybe express your feelings towards him directly. Um, of any kind and do it for the rest of your life. I could do that. And I just don't know if that's proper. So if you have any suggestions on how you would handle a situation like this, uh, please let me know.